Considering the update equation for hy, when we update the hy's, we only need one previous value of hy at the same location in space, i plus a half, i plus a half. That, that is, we don't need any older values of hy or any neighboring values of hy's. This means that as we update the hy's, we could get away with overriding the previous values of hy's right away, because we don't need them anymore to solve either of our two update equations. So this means we can get away with just a single array of hy's that we can overwrite each time step. So I encourage you to just keep with our previous notation of just defining hy to be i max minus 1, a 1d array of i max minus 1 numbers. So now considering that we can overwrite values, we can start by writing hy at a position. Well, what we can put in parentheses here, we know that hy, the first hy, is located at x equal 0.5 delta x. But the number we want is actually stored in the first value of our 1D array. So what we really want is the first number in that array. So I'm going to put hy1. And we just have to remember that even though we're using the index 1 here, we need to remember that physically the hy is actually at 0.5 at half integer time steps, uh, a half integer spatial positions. All right, so let's continue implementing the first equation for hy. The new value of hy is equal to da times the hy at the same location a half time step earlier. So that should already be stored at that same location in the array from the previous time step or from the beginning of the simulation. Then we're going to add on db plus db multiplied by the difference between the two neighboring EZs. So looking at our diagram, the two neighboring EZs are the second number in our EZ array and the first number in our EZ array. So we would write db times EZ at the second number in our EZ array minus ez, the first number in our ez array. And this completes our implementation of the update equation for the first hy. So you can take this and you can repeat it for all the hy's in the spatial grid. And after you've updated all the hy's, you'll be done with the first half time step. And then you can move on to updating all the ez's corresponding to the second half of the time step. So this equation. Now, if you look at the first EZ in the grid, you may notice a problem. Can we implement the update equation for EZ on the first EZ in our grid?